Hey everyone. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're diving into a fascinating and intimate topic that might be a bit taboo for some, but it's crucial for a healthy and satisfying relationship, sexual health and intimacy. Stick around as we unravel some surprising facts and tips that can elevate your intimate life. Let's kick things off with a myth-busting fact, there's no standard of beauty for vulvas. They all differ in shape, color, size, appearance, and structure. Embrace the uniqueness. Studies show that women think about their appearance on average 10 times a day. So, let's start by acknowledging and appreciating the natural beauty of our bodies. Speaking of studies, did you know that up to 91% of men and 86% of women between 50 and 60 are sexually active? And one in three women in this age group has sex at least once a week. Age is just a number, folks. Now, for a practical tip. If a man is close to ejaculation, squeezing the base of the penis can prevent it. This trick is often used by actors in adult films off-camera. Interesting, right? After sex, women often seek out conversation. It's a way to bond and feel connected, so don't shy away from those post-intimate talks. And remember, women generally take longer to get aroused by visual stimuli, so be patient and take your time. Here's a fun fact. Low blood glucose levels can reduce your desire for sex. So, next time you're planning a date, consider having some dessert, ice cream, perhaps. Now, let's talk about orgasm. Many women experience the greatest pleasure during oral stimulation rather than penetration. Cold feet can be a barrier to reaching orgasm, but wearing socks can increase the chance of climaxing from 50% to 80%. Who knew socks could be so sexy? The average length of the vagina is 8 to 10 centimeters, so an average-sized penis is more than sufficient to provide pleasure. The key is knowing how to use it. Also, an ideal position for both partners to last longer is sitting with their pelvises aligned, allowing for more physical contact and intimacy. Sadly, about 25 to 30 percent of women have never reached orgasm. Communication and experimenting with different techniques can make a huge difference. If your penis curves downward, try the doggy style position. This can facilitate better ejaculation control and pleasure. Did you know that deep breathing during sex can help interrupt the ejaculatory reflex, making you last longer? And for those with a smaller penis, lying doggy style, where the woman is partially lying down, can be a great position. Physical fitness is crucial for sexual health. A morning walk and a low-fat diet can significantly improve your sexual potential, especially if you're dealing with erection problems. Remember, it's possible for women to have anal orgasms through G-spot stimulation from behind. And for oral sex, stimulating both the clitoris and anus simultaneously can be more pleasurable for the woman. After 45, to enjoy satisfying sexual relations, it's essential to avoid fatigue and stress. The age when men are most potent is between 15 and 25, while women's sexual life peaks between 35 and 50. I hope you found this video insightful and helpful. Remember, a satisfying sexual relationship is about communication, creativity, and understanding each other's needs. Congratulations on making it to the end of the video. Your commitment to improving yourself and your relationship is truly commendable. How long after having anal sex will it take my bum hole to go back to normal? 
The time it takes for the anus to return to its normal state after anal sex can vary depending on several factors, including the individual's body, the frequency and intensity of the activity, and whether there was any discomfort or injury during the act. Here are some general guidelines. Immediate recovery. For many people, the anus may feel normal within a few hours to a day after anal sex, especially if there was adequate lubrication, gentle handling, and no significant discomfort. Mild discomfort. If there was mild discomfort or minor irritation, it might take a day or two for the area to feel completely normal. Ensuring proper hygiene and possibly using soothing products like a warm sits bath can help. Minor injury or soreness. If there was any minor injury, soreness, or slight tearing, often referred to as micro tears, it might take a few days to a week to heal. Keeping the area clean and avoiding further irritation is important. Significant pain or injury. If there was significant pain, bleeding, or injury during anal sex, it might take longer for the area to heal, possibly a week or more. In such cases, it is advisable to consult a healthcare professional to ensure proper healing and to rule out any serious issues. Tips for faster recovery. Hygiene. Keep the area clean with gentle washing. Avoid irritants, avoid any further irritation, including more anal sex, until fully healed. Lubrication, using plenty of lubrication during anal sex can prevent discomfort and injury. Soothing treatments, consider using a warm sits bath or over-the-counter creams designed for soothing irritation. If you experience persistent pain, significant bleeding, or any other concerning symptoms, it's important to seek medical advice to ensure there are no serious issues. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe for more content on psychology and relationships. See you in the next video. If you enjoyed watching this video don't forget to like subscribe and turn on the notification bell, so you don't miss any new videos. Let us know your thoughts about this video in the comment section down below and feel free to stay and enjoy it until the end, also make sure to check out our next highlighted video and we will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe.